Good night, Ibis. How are you, girl? Hi, Ibis. How are you? Hey, good night. How you been, Ibis? Good night, girl. Maybe Ibis is on mute. That could be. Hi, Ivy. How are you, girl? How you doing? Good night. Maybe she's not there. Okay, we're gonna wait until she answers. Hi, Bree. How are you, girl? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. It's been a pleasure. I was talking with uh, uh, Ivy's, but I don't know what happened to her. Maybe she got problems with herself or with a cell phone or with the internet. That could be the reason. Yeah, I think so. Hi. Estamos yeah. nosotros. <laughs> yes, 101. Yeah, 101. Ah, no. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, no, no. Ah, no. I have her back, you know? Hi. Okay, we have Ivy's back. I think she has a problem with the internet. Hi, Ivy's. Good night, girl. Hi, good night. What happened with the first time? Do you have a problem with your internet? Yes, I have a problem with the internet. Oh, but is it okay right now? Or is it raining where you live? No, no, it's okay. It's okay? Okay. Yes. That's nice. You know what? I like the color of your hair. Uh, thanks. <laughs> yeah, I do. I do. I like it. I like your picture. It's really nice. It's beautiful. Yeah, you see, I'm sorry, Brie, and I'm sorry, Ivy. It's not going to be a girl's night today. Kels, guess who joined us? Three handsome men. Oh, we do have Alex Antonio, Mr. Boris Rodriguez, and Mr. Alex Daco. Hacko. Oh, it's Hacko. I, I need to remember that is the name of the of a beach in um, Costa Rica. Hako. I don't know. I, re I don't remember his Hako or Hako. No, his last name, the name of the beach. I'm going to figure it out with my sister <laughs> and then I will let you know. Hey, hey, Alex, by the way, did you change the color of your house walls? Have you changed the color? Cambiaste la el color? Have you changed it? The color of your walls, no? Oh, I think uh, Alex is in another area of his house, right? No, don't change. This is the cooking room. Ah, the kitchen. The kitchen room. Ah, yeah. that's the reason why. Yeah. You haven't even introduced that part of your house. Uh oh. This is my kitchen. <laughs> oh my God, this is where you do your own recipes, right? Mm, interesting. Do you cook? Yeah. Mm, you see, all, all, all time dinner, uh, all time lunch, dinner, all time. ¿cómo sería? No, all type. Uh, meals. Meals, yeah. Meals, mm. yeah. Oh, you see, girls, you see, Ibis. Yeah, he's a really chef. Ooh, wow. May I ask you something? What is the, um, the meal that you said is not that I made it, but it's delicious? <laughs> um, to me, like cook um, more. Uh, uh, Don't tell me sandwiches. Yeah. Well, even though, yeah, you have to be good, uh, know how to prepare sandwiches. Yeah. Yeah, sandwich is, is, is more easy. <laughs> it's easiest. Yeah, it's, it's the easiest one. Yeah. What about <laughs> scrambled eggs? Scrambled eggs? Where was mm. Revolta scrambled eggs? Ah, yeah. Ah, you see. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. But what is your specialty? Qual es tu especialidad? Which, are, which is your specialty? Mm. Any in singular, uh, I, I, I can cook um, soup, uh, mm. meat, um, rices, and all that. Oh, excuse me. We're talking with a chef. Mm. 
<rire> Excusez-moi, monsieur. Oh, <rire> ce n'est pas possible. <rire> oh my God. So you're a chef. You're a linguine, right? But you're missing the, the little mouse, the ratatouille. Yeah. <laughs> Remy. All righty. That's nice. What about you, girls? What about you, Brie, Ivy's, B? Do you have any specialty? Yeah? Oh, come on. No, don't tell me. Yes. Maruchan. <laughs> Maruchan, Ivy. Mean, you know what? You know what? Even though it's, it's supposed to just to put some hot water in it, but it's not as simple as it takes. No. <laughs> yes, with Maruchan, you can do the base uh, soup of the ramen soup. Yes. Yeah. And ramen has a lot of things. But what about um, Maruchan, but the one with uh, the shrimp one? The shrimp maruchan, like the uh, camarones, the shrimp maruchan. Shrimp. You know I what? Like. You, I, I agree. It's really nice, you know. I like it, yeah. I I used to have a student that he has his own recipe. He said that he has some chili, some um, cilantro, some lemon. Uh, lemon, and cream. And it's really good. You know what? I try once his recipe, just in case, right? Because I'm trying all my students' recipes <laughs> and praying that nothing happens to my stomach, right? <laughs> but, but you know what? All the recipes that I have been uh, prepared so far, nothing happens to me. So I'm still alive. I'm survived. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, you know, try it like that way, Iris. Yeah, it tastes really good, Maruchan. I like it. Yeah, why not? Of course. I like it once in a while. It's good. I like it. Yeah, of course. So Ivy said Maruchan. <laughs> Very good, Ivy. What about you, Brie? I remember the milkshake, right? The banana shake. Remember? Yes. Yes. It's but, like it. Uh -huh. Banana um, shake with what? With Oreo. I remember, right? Yes. I like cook. I like cook. Um, like to cook? Mm. Yes. Um, I don't have an especially special mm. I love cook soups soups. And soups oh my goodness that's great you know what I love soups especially when it's raining and it's like a cold day a soup and something hot Maruchan it comes perfect right? I cook when it's hot <laughs> even though it is hot as well yeah <laughs> today mm. I cook so <laughs> Really? You prepare soup today? What? The beef soup or chicken soup? Chicken soup. Mm, I like it. I love it. With a lot of potatoes. Mm, I love potatoes. My heart. Yes. Mm, okay. <laughs> you make me hungry. Yeah. You know what? I love tamales. Tamales. All, typ all Salvadorian um, typical food. Um, it's amazing. I like it. Well, I like it. All, all types of all, all type of food yeah i do i i cannot eat a, a, a lot of them because of course they, they are too greasy but i love it i love pupusas tamales pastelitos empanadas canoas <laughs> etc oh yes those are really good ones mm -mm. tamales de elote sería así tamales de elote o, o corn tamales corn tamales oh, corn okay. tamales hand tamales or chicken tamales Chipilin is chipilin all over the world, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah. chipilin doesn't, doesn't have a translation, but you had to like to explain what is that, okay? Uh, what else? Um, sugar, sugar tamales, right? Sugar tamales. Which one? Beans tamales? Nuegados, oh yeah, I love it, Torrejas. Ooh, Chuco. Chuco, yeah, Chuco is <laughs> the best. But you know what? Uh, there's two types of Chucos. Uh, well, here in San Salvador, I have tried one that is salty with beans, with chili, right? And I'll wash it. But um, no, but in San Miguel and Sultan, I think it's kind of sweet. Yeah, sugar. Stiff, yeah. Sugar. yeah no, uh -huh. And that one I don't like much. No. No. My husband loves it because he's from there. He's from Usulotan, Alegria. But in my case, no way. 
No way. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, I like it, but it's not like, mm. but for me, uh, Chuco, oh, it's the best. I love Chuco by heart. You know what? That it reminds me of a really good like stories of my childhood because I, I remember that my parents, my grandparents from my dad's side, uh, they used to live in Santa Ana in Santa Ana. And my father, I think around 6 a.m. in the morning, every Sunday, we like live from their house and pass to Los Naranjos, I think. And there was a place where there was a lady selling a chuco really early morning. So my dad used every every Sunday when he was here in El Salvador, because it was really weird that he was with us, but when he was here in El Salvador, um, that is what he wanted. Go on from Friday to Sunday, stay at my grandparents' house. Then on Sunday, really early morning, past to Los Naranjos, just to go and drink uh, Chuco. I remember that. And I was, I think I was four or five years old by then. Ooh, yesterday. It was yesterday, right? Yes, yesterday. And live it that way. That was yesterday. Hey, Nami, welcome to the jungle. Welcome to that class. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. Thank, Thank you. you. Oh my God. I like the, the your t your blouse color. <laughs> it co it combines you. very well with the background, you know, with the color of your world. Very good. You're, you're very kind. Thank you. No, I'm very sincere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah when i like something i say it when i don't like it i say it too <laughs> yeah yeah that, that's the way <laughs> i you. am so, no but i like it very good yeah and i love the, your lipstick as well guys okay enough talking about uh, stories and all those cases remember what we saw yesterday remember the homework i think carlito sent you the answer right uh huh. Carlito sent you the answer. What is the answer? What was the well? First of all, haha. -ha, Carlito appears. Uh huh. No. First of all, I just want to know. Do you remember what was the um, the homework, guys? What was the homework? Only one. I know everybody well, wants this... to first dissipate, but hold your horses, man. Uh huh. Because the. The phrase verb to open and, and close. Exactly, phrase uh -huh. verbs. Exactly to open and phrase close. You figure it out to close. To close the. the what, what what was the one? The uh, Carlitos? What was the one? What uh, sh should off? Should off. Should off. Yes. Mm -hmm. What about open? To home. To home. <laughs> Are you inventing? <laughs> I think you're not inventing, my man. Open, uh -huh. open up, and close up. Close up. Mm. Close up. Close up is very, uh, very sneaky. Uh -huh. Close up is like. <laughs> Come, baby girl. Come, baby girl. Uh -huh. yeah. Closing is when you like that. Depends. Depends. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And close up uh, is, is cheek to cheek. Abre. Close cheek up, to cheek. close up, or close out. Uh -huh. It depends. Uh -huh. Make you think, right? <laughs> All right. So your homework will be: What is the phrase of verse that we used to open? Open up. Uh, open up. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's good. That, that's a good one. The good one of clothes is correct. It's correct. It's one of them. We have a lot of ones, okay? But don't well. worry. Don't worry. One of the time. Guys, so very good. But do you remember that also we saw yesterday the, um, the formula, how we construct a phrase of verse? Do you remember that? We had a verb, right? A verb. And we have, I don't know if you can see it. I don't think so. But this one is, okay, let me check this one. And we have a particle, a particle. So may I ask you something, guys? Which one comes first? 
the verb or the particle? Is that correct like this? Or is like this? Verbs the verb. Verbs the verb. Okay, and then, and the, okay, okay very good. If I'm just if I'm talking about the past, can I can I uh, how to change the verb no. and the particle or only the verb? Only the verb first. Only the verb. Only the verb. Yes. May I have verb. an example, As, please? Uh, 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 what? Uh -huh. What? Up? Walking. Okay. What about wake? Mm -hmm. What is the past? Walk. Wake. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. We're gonna say wake up. Wake up. Uh huh. Wake up. Okay. Very mm -hmm. good. Hey, what about if I want to talk about future? I think Nelsie. Mm -hmm. uh, I say that. You only. You use. Will going to. Will. Do I have to change the verb or no? No. No. The verb doesn't change. The verb doesn't change. Very good. Excellent. Now we're we're reviewing this right now. So. I prepare a really nice thing. Can you see it? Okay. Clean up. Clean up. Clean up. Clean up. What Clean is up. the definition of clean up? Limpiar. Can yeah. I have, okay, can I have a sentence, please? A ah, sentence. Uh, I have, uh, I have to clean up my house. Uh -huh, Very good. good. I have to clean up my house. Excellent. What about this? Put, put, away. Uh, put, put away. away. Put what, away. Put what's, away. What's the definition of put away? What does it mean? Um, Guardar. Are you lejos? sure? Guardar lejos. Very good. Mm -hmm. Can I have mm -hmm. a sentence, please? Put away your shoes. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because put oh, away your shoes, man. Yeah. Because uh, the soccer I, too. Ooh, right. <laughs> I almost another, that. another thing. Um, uh -huh. uh, please put away the sh the chemical. The chemical. The ah, chemical. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Very good. Mm -hmm. What about this? Hang up. Hang up. Hang up. Yes. Hang up. And can I have a sentence, please? But don't don't use the phone. No, because you can also use hang up with different. another object besides the phone. In the closet. Don't have the closet. Your, your pants. Your pants. Your jacket. Your coat. Your okay. Coat. Okay. Very good. Exactly. T-shirt. Oh, yes. T-shirt. What happened, Carlitos? No, nothing. Nothing. I think nothing Houston, do we have a problem, is it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Houston, Houston, Mayday, Mayday. Mayday, Mayday, yeah. Exactly, very good. So hang up, guys. You can use it. Colgar, right? You can also use it when you're calling. You just hang up the phone or don't have the hang up the call or on purpose, right? Colgaste a propósito, right? Also, you can hang up your clothes. You can hang up your towel, right? La, la, la toalla, right? We're in the bathroom. You also can hang up for the example, umbrella. The umbrella. The umbrella. Or si te gusta las, las flores, you can hang up, right? La macetas, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you can do a lot of things. Very good, guys. Excellent. We are reviewing right now. So now that you we already make a refresh about the meaning of some um phrasal verbs that we saw yesterday. I want to share with you right now, guys, and I want your help doing this exercise, okay? I want your help right now. Don't worry. Don't get panic, Bree, Alex, Evie. No, 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 no. Be Dinita and Boris. This is easy, peasy, queasy. Uh-huh. For you, teacher. No. For, <laughs> yeah, for everybody. Right, Nelsie? Yeah, there you go. Okay, guys. So, okay, let me share right now my screen with you. Woo. Ooh, I prepare this. There you go. Okay. Can you see it, guys? Is it good? Or would yes. you need to make it a little bit bigger? A little bit bigger. Yes, it's a little good. bigger? It's a little bit bigger. Okay, Please. I'm going to put it in bigger. But you see, you see? I'm a nice teacher. Yes, yes. yes. Okay, so guys, we have a two more verbs, right? And what I have figured out here some words or some nouns that we can use. Uh, with this ones, 
For example, may I ask you guys, what is the meaning of garbage? Basura. Basura, very good, Ura. excellent. <laughs> what about groceries? Yeah. What's the meaning of groceries? Son tiendas, tiendas. Oh, son tiendas. Golosinas. Golosinas. Eh, no, but groceries, Productos guys. varios. Productos varios. Como, como podría decir los Abarrotería. Los, exactly. Eso sería grocery stores. Abarroterías. Mm -hmm. Pero cuando yo digo groceries, es más que todos los comprados, right? Cuando tú vienes del uh -huh. super o vienes del, del market y traes las bolsas con los comprados, those are groceries. Muy bien. What about the magazines? Revistas. 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 Very good. What about the mess? Desastre. El desastre. El desastre. El desorden. Very good. What about the microwave? Oh, Microondas. Mm -hmm. What about the towels? Toallas. Toallas. What about your coat? Eh, abrigo. Tu abrigo. Um, Very good. And your laptop? Uh, computer. 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 computer yes to computer or to uh, personal very good so guys we do have here the may i ask you guys are these nouns or are these pronouns <laughs> yes on nouns or pronouns nouns quiere decir entonces que con los nouns se recuerdan can i use the noun at the end of the sentence, yes or no? Yeah. No. Yeah. Yes. No. Yes, I yes. can. Oh, before, yes. before yes. or, or yeah. after? Uh, yes, exactly. Yeah. Very yeah. good job. Yeah. When I'm talking about nouns with phrasal verbs, I can use it either in the middle of the two part of the phrasal verbs or at the end. Remember that? The, the only middle. one. Exactly. The only mm -hmm. one that I that I cannot do like that way is when I'm using pronoun. It must be in the middle. There's no way that I can put it at the end, but only with pronoun. But in this case, guys, we are using nouns. So I can definitely use it in the middle or at the end. So may I ask you guys, with the phrase of clean up, which one can I use? Which noun can I use? Clean up. The mess up. Clean up, exactly. So, Mr. Jorjito, you want to mm -hmm. participate in I like to listen to your beautiful voice. All right, so you said <laughs> clean up and the mess. So do me a favor, um, Jorjito. Can you please make a sentence? Uh, I clean up, I clean Clean the mess up. I clean the mess class. up. Very good. And yes, I have figured it out. Ya me lo imaginé. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Excellent job. All right. What about a uh, hang up? Guys, hang up. Which one I can use with hang up? Your coat. The towel. The towel. Yes. Remember that one. Of, uh, it could be one or one of more possibilities, right? So hang up. I can use it with this. The and towels. also, I can use it with a coat, right? Woo! All right. So, Nubi, <laughs> can I have a sentence with hangout and towels, please? Okay. Uh, to my to my son, for example. For example. Uh -huh, yes. Uh, Anderson, hang up the towels, please. Very good. Excellent. I also listened. Uh, I think it was Alex, right? You said the coat. Is that right, Alex? It was was it you? Okay, uh, I oh, hung was up. Mr. Mr. Boris. No, I think it was Alex. Very good. Okay, okay. Alex, go ahead. Okay, I hung up your, I don't know, your, uh, Carlos hung up your coat. <laughs> Very good. That, by the way, Carlos is your son's name? Sorry? Is el nombre de tu hijo? Is your son's name? No. No, it's my friend, Carlos Antonio. <laughs> oh, Carlitos. Yeah. It's because Carlitos is a completely disaster sometimes. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. <laughs> so you said, my, Carlos, hang up your coat. My, Very my good. Son, my son's name is Xavier. Xavier? Uh, yes. Oh, interesting. I remember that it was one of the, the name of the members of Menudo, right? I don't know. Yeah. 
Yeah, right. Yeah. Uh -huh. You see, I have a good memory. All right, very good. Guys, what about PCAP? Uh, Nelsie, PCAP, which one you can use with PCAP? Um, pick up the garbage. Nope. Up, mm, yeah, could be, but I think it, it pick up. You can use it better with another one. The magazine. Pick up the toys. Groceries. Pick up the groceries. Uh huh. Groceries. Uh huh. So do me a favor, Nelsie. Make a sentence, please. Throw out. Take out. Pick, make a sentence and Elsie will pick up in the groceries. Make a sentence. Oh. Think about one. Aha, uh Nelsie. -huh, Invented one sentence. Uh, pick up with groceries? No. Ah, okay. Uh huh. Uh, um, um, it could mom? be present, it could be, it could be past, oh. or it could be a future. Uh, mom, help me to pick up the groceries. Very good. And you can continue at the supermarket. <laughs> or at my aunt's house. Woo, it could be a lot of things. Very good. Excellent. Okay. Very good okay. job. Put away. Ivy's, can I have a sentence with put away, please? Put away. You can use put away with which one? With what else? Put away. Uh, the magazine, the magazines, the magazine. Yes, put away the magazines. It, what about mm -hmm. take out? Take out. What is the meaning of that? What is the meaning of take out, guys? What is that? Take out. What's the meaning of take out? Sacar. Out. Sacar. Out. Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Sacar. Take out is lo mismo que throw out? Parecido. I'm just, I, no, I'm asking. Parecido. Tomás. Parecido. Maybe uh -huh. with your laptop. Throw out is tirar. Throw out is tirar. Very good. Tirar. Tirar. Take out. Ah, tirar. The, the garbage. Ajá, take out the garbage. Y throw out, también puedo usar take out and throw out. ¿Puedo usar los dos? Eh, yes. Yes, right? Mm -hmm. What was the difference, guys? What is the difference between take out and throw out? What was? Quien me dijo eso? Alguien me lo acaba de decir. I just want like a quickly reminder, just in case. Uh huh. What is the difference, guys? What is the difference between take out and turn out? Uh huh. Quien me lo dice? Come on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, maybe take out is to move for a place. Yes, mm -hmm. take out puede ser para muchas cosas, pero en este caso, take out is like uh, remove. Very good, exactly. Mm -hmm. What about throw out? No, throw out también. también. Oh. Throw out es tirar. Uh -huh. Exactly. Throw out es lo mismo que, que decir get rid of. Throw out es deshacerse de algo. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So, entonces sería garbage. take out, take out the garbage, o pueden ser también um, throw out, throw out the garbage. Same. What about turn it's off? It's yes, go ahead, girl. For, yes, for example, for example, um, uh, for example, take out the dog, sacar al perro. Sí, puede exactly. Podría and, ser. And throw out the. Uh, Garbage. The garbage, yes. Garbage. Fíjate que throw out significa muchas cosas. En este caso es get rid of, es decir, deshacerse de algo. Pero también throw out puede ser dislocate, es decir, deslocarlo o, o quitarlo del lugar. También puede ser reject, eh, rechazado. Y también puede ser expel, expelar algo. O, o, o refutar algo para aceptarlo, por ejemplo. Puede haber, incluso fíjate que throw out también, eso también lo utilizamos cuando alguien vomita. Throw out. También uh, se dice, eso, es, eso es vomitar también. O sea, sure. That depends. And throw it. Throw it es diferente. Be sure. Yes, go ahead. Throw out eh, podría ser um, 
uh, como desperdicio? Sí, po podía ser. Depende. En este caso, sí. Puede ser como deshacerse de algo. O rechazar algo. O expeler algo. Pero en este caso es deshacerse porque quiere deshacerte de la basura. Right? Throw the garbage. Pero puede hacer muchas cosas. El otro es throw in. Pero throw in, guys, significa join o a company. Y también eh, añadir algo a algún acuerdo. Uh, como le, como le, si ustedes estudian la que les, los, lo que les di de phrasal verbs, van a ver que hay un montón de definiciones. Depends of how you do it or how you use it. Pero en este caso, es, en la definición que vamos a ver throughout es deshacerse de algo. What about guys? Turn off and turn on, bodies. Can I have a sentence, please? Okay. Uh, please turn off the television. Very good. And, what about? Uh -huh. Go oh. ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. And turn on the radio. Turn on the radio. O en este caso, con el microwave, podría usar el turn off y el turn on. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, because the, the, yesterday do, do you no yesterday told oh, us the only so the yeah. use the electrical. Ex yes. Exactly. Exactly, you're right about that. Entonces, chiquillos, um, hoy hemos eh, hecho como un recap, como una retroalimentación, un review de los phrasal verbs. En este caso, chicos, para request, que alguien haga algo, to make request, ahorita hemos visto una manera para make request, que sería con los phrasal verbs. Como ustedes vieron en lo que le mandé y en lo que dibujó Carlitos, los phrasal hay un montón. ¿Sí? Pero con solo que te aprendas estos ahorita y su significado y cuando lo utilizas, ya es bastante. Ya es bastante. Entonces, con solo que te aprendas estos, con el tiempo vas a ir conociendo más y más. Y más. Fíjate que yo a veces me, se me olvidan algunos o a veces yo digo, este era phrasal verb. Ni me acordaba, imagínate. Sí, hasta a mí me pasa. Así que porque son un montón. Son un montón, son más de mil. Yo creo, yo no sé si añadieron otros. Yo creo que sí, imagínate, entonces no te preocupes, con el tiempo lo vas a ir aprendiendo. Pero es very good. Entonces, ¿qué dijimos que era hang up? Colgar. 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 Ajá. ¿Qué dijimos que era puro way? Eh, lejos. Guardar Alejar, lejos. Guardar lejos. ¿Y qué dijimos que era clean up? Limpiar. Limpiar. Yeah. Very good. O Está sea, clean up y clean out. O es sea, diferente, ¿verdad? Y clean in también. Muy bien. Perfecto. Chicos, entonces, eh, ah, hoy quiero que hagan algo. Ah, haga de cuenta que B, Ivy's, Brie, Nelsy, Nubi, Rocío y Linda son las mamás. Y que tienen a unos bellos hijos, <risa> llamaros Jorgito, Alex, Carlitos, Michael, Mr. Boris, Luisito. Entonces, hagan una cosa. Vamos a, como dijimos que para pedir que hagan algo, utilizamos phrasal verbs. Ya vamos a ver la otra manera de, de pedir las cosas. Pero ahorita hemos puesto los phrasal verbs. Serían tan amables, mis queridas mamás, de pedirles a sus bellos hijos aquí presentes que hagan algo. Por ejemplo, Nubi, fíjate que tu hijo se llama Miguelito Ramírez. <risa> <risa> y yo, oh, cualquier parecido con la realidad es mera coincidencia. Si se parece a uno de tus hijos o a tu esposo. Pero, ay, ay ya lo metí en líos. Pero vea, entonces, haz una cosa. Haz de cuenta que es tu hijo mayor, va. Entonces, usa un phrasal verb para pedirle que haga algo. Cualquiera de lo que hemos visto. Ok. Um, Miguel, clean up your bedroom, please. Híjole. Como que todavía usted es un completo desastre, right? Very good. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ah, tomorrow, mom, I'm tired. <laughs> Very good, very good. No se preocupen que ya vamos a ver, ya van a ver lo que vamos a ver, lo que vamos a ver después. Very good, Nelsy. Tu querido hijo, okay. your 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 beautiful baby boy, se llama Carlitos Antonio. Go ahead. 
Okay, okay, Carlitos. Uh, may you help me to clean up the windows, please? No, man, this moment I watch TV and study English. <laughs> no, man, uh, next to the sign at the, 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 the end, the, the, Carlita, the shut up. <laughs> classroom. Please, mom. Carlitos, que si Very se, funny. Se, se entró en el papel del, del son, ¿me entiendes? <laughs> Muy bien. Este, eh, ay, después le voy a decir <laughs> una cosa con respecto cuando alguien le pide a uno que me se quede, ¿verdad? Ajá. Tú le puedes Sorry. decir, no, está bien, eh, Nelsie, solo para aclarar un poco, eso lo, se lo dices, por ejemplo, a tus cheros, ¿verdad? A tu gente así como bien, bien close, pero a tus compañeros y todo, le puedes decir, be quiet o sip it, oh. sip it, sip it. Okay. Be quiet, Paulito. No, but she was teasing you. Estaba bromeando contigo. Pero, pero está bien. Okay. Yeah, yeah, was to clarify. Very good, guys. Excellent. A ver, Brie. Pero me suelo. Trague. Okay, Brie. You have a beautiful and, and handsome boy. Ay, me lindo. Con la gran happy face. ¿sí? Okay, his name is Jorgito Antonio. Sorry, um, Antonio, please help me to put the groceries in the table. To groceries in the table. To put the groceries in the table. Very good, process put in. Very good, excellent. Good job. What about Dinita? You're going to be Alex's mom. <laughs> okay. Prepare, Alex. Sorry for that. <laughs> Alex, could you please turn off the TV? Yes, man, no problem. Okay, uh, very good. This is, this is a good guy. He's a, He's good, a good, guy. good boy. He's yes, a good boy. Angel. What a brilliant one. Yeah, he's fake it. You know what fake yeah, is? <laughs> he's an angel, yeah. But you know what fake is? No he's problem. faking. You know what the meaning of faking? Faking? No? No. No. What the meaning? Ah, qué barbaridad. Fake, no, I'm just kidding. No, faking is que, que, que está así como, como, como le podría, como actuando. He's faking. Oh. Yeah, como que, ¿eh? está dando paja, dice la gente, right? He's faking. <laughs> yeah, like that, like that. That's what he says. Me encanta esa palabra. Ahí okay, very good. Fake. Fake. Ajá, uh -huh, como que se está haciendo la de los panes, así, ¿me entiendes? It's faking. All right, very good, guys. Excellent. Entonces, ahorita, so far, With phrasal verbs, guys, ven que ustedes lo pueden usar en su daily basis, lo pueden usar en su diario común. Por ejemplo, el phrasal verb, en este caso lo hemos visto en el family environment, ¿sí? Cuando tú lo puedes, que le dices a, a tu esposo o a tus hijos que haga esto o, no, o, o haga lo otro. También lo puedes utilizar en la oficina cuando le pides a alguien que haga algo por ti. Eh, también lo puedes utilizar cuando vas de viaje. ¿Sí? Cuando vayas de viaje. Ay, voy a ver si les mando los phrasal verbs más comunes que utilice, utiliza cuando uno va de viaje, ¿sí? Para que aumenten su vocabulario. En ese que usted va a un, a un lugar, ¿verdad? Ya sea aquí en El Salvador o no, o sea, ¿cómo se dice? ¿Qué, qué, ¿Cuál es usar? El phrasal verb, guys, lo ocupas en tu daily basis. Lo ocupas a diario. Nosotros ocupamos mucho, mucho phrasal verb. Es más, chicos, hablamos más phrasal verbs que otra cosa. Porque phrasal verbs prácticamente a uno le simplifica la vida. A nosotros nos simplifica mucho la vida, phrasal verb. Yeah. Tú dices phrasal verb y tú ya sabes que no tienes que decir, my mama, please, Miguelito, do me a favor, you're a completely disaster in your room. There's no place for me to walk. So please do something, ¿verdad? Imagínate la gran sentence. Entonces yo, en vez de eso, ¿qué le dijo Nubi? Miguelito, please help me clean up your room, ¿va? En vez de decir la gran letanía, la gran soap opera, she used the phrasal verb y ya te dijo lo que quería que hicieras. ¿Viste? 
Mira cómo son de, de geniales los phrase offers. A mí me yes. encantan. Muy bien. Pero sí, chicos, sí. yes, Nelsie. Sí, de El Salvador, sí, de Moms. Yes. In El Salvador, the moms uh, use the, the chancleta. It's only. Ah, yes. That is physical one. <laughs> yeah, Ajá, es la mirada. ¿Cómo se dice? Yes. <laughs> con, con solo mirarte ya sabes qué onda, ¿verdad? Te pegan en un pellizcón o en la casa nos, nos entendemos. No more yeah. phrase <laughs> No more phrase verse. No, pero ustedes son de la nueva era. Tienen que cambiar ese. Ah, muy no. bien, chicos, aparte de make a request using phrasal verbs, también hoy vamos a aprender otra manera de make request, pero van a ser como un poquito más fancy, más polite, si quieren verlo de esa manera. Oh. All right, eh, porque la otra sonaba así como más con, con los phrasal verbs, si tú te fijas, más como de orden, ¿verdad? Más como un command, ¿verdad? Pero hoy vamos a usar otro, vamos a ver que podemos usarlos con mother verbs. Vamos a ver el can y el could. Y también vamos a ver uno que es el más um, polite de todos, que es would you mind. ¿Sí? Mm -hmm. Would you mind. El would you mind es como, en otras palabras, te importaría, mira qué, mira qué lindo, hasta qué bonito me sale a mí, te importaría, o en otras palabras, Miguelito, ¿Te importaría no dormirte en clase? No, I'm just kidding. <risa> Te estoy molestando. Mi teacher, mi teacher. Ah, mi teacher. Ah, cabal, Carlitos. <risa> Carlitos, ¿me puede hacer a favor? Carlitos, ¿could you do me a favor, please? ¿Ves? Yes. Ajá, ¿ves? Entonces, ¿ves que Las te estoy pidiendo mis... algo? Pero te lo estoy pidiendo de manera formal. ¿Could you do me a favor? O ponerle... Eh, si tú estás cerca de la ventana, está haciendo frío. Carlitos, could you close the window, please? Oh, uh -huh. sure, Fisher. Yeah. ¿Sí? Oh. O por ejemplo, te necesito algo y yo me, me approach a ti y te digo, Jorgito, can I ask you a favor? ¿Te puedo pedir un favor? Yeah. Uh -huh. mm. Y entonces tú me dices, sí. Y puedo usar el would you mind. Como yeah. que me estoy durmiendo. Eh, would you mind going to the... Um, Would you mind going to what? Uh, to Starbucks coffee and buy um, a cappuccino for Carlitos, please? Yeah? ¿Me entiendes? Entonces, pero la diferencia, chicos, entre el can, el, el can y el could lo pueden usar de las dos maneras. Y es, es son model verse, right? Es, es, son como muy, una manera más, ¿cómo te puedo decir? Can es para pedir algo, pero más, más informal, contest. más informal. Ajá. Ajá. Could es más formal que can. Pero would you mind es el, el más formal de los tres. La diferencia, chicos, es que con would you mind, cuando usted use would you mind, usted va a tener que usar el gerundio. Good. Would you mind closing? Would you In mind G. opening? Sí, solo con would you mind. No me va a decir would you mind close, no, porque usted va a estar malo. Would you mind closing? closing. Would you mind eh, turning? Would you mind eh, sleeping? ¿Sí? Siempre va a haber el ING. Eso es bien importante. Sería la diferencia entre Buenas noches, uno. Tía. Buenas noches, hijo. Exactly. Yes. Uh -huh. Puede ser, would you mind closing the door, please? Would you mind not putting your garbage here? ¿Sí? Entonces, usted lo puede usar tanto positive como negative. Pero, por ejemplo, si usted va a decir, would you mind closing the window? Mire, lo va a usar con el gerundio, con el gerundio y con un noun. Pero primero vea que va el gerundio y después el noun. Would you mind closing the window? ¿Verdad? Pero, en este, pero yo también puedo usarlo de manera negativa, porque puedo hacer una pregunta negativa o una pregunta positiva. ¿Se recuerdan cuál es la phrase o la word que utilizo para hacer algo negativo? ¿Cuál es? No. Not. No, no, no. no. Es, sí, sí, eh, Ivy, pero en este caso con, con el would you mind. Not. Es not, exactly. Mm. Entonces, ¿dónde lo voy a poner? Would you mind not closing the window. Mira dónde va el, el not. Would you mind not 
closing the window. En este caso, si yo lo quiero hacer de manera negativa, el not va a ir antes del gerundio. Para que no se me hagan chibolas, aquí he preparado algo bien chévere. Ya ven que la teacher es siempre bien buena onda. Yo le dije. Arjito is like, thank you. Right? Yeah, porque es muy difícil que yo solo les diga y que ustedes usen your imagination a que lo vean así vivo y a todo color, ¿verdad? Yes, ya ven, yes. ya ven. Si sí, yo soy bien buena onda. Ay, you chévere. are the best. Not the best, but I'm trying to do my best. Ahí, ahí voy. Muy bien. Pero muchas gracias. ¿eh? Muy bien. Vean, chiquillos. Vamos a ver acá. Sí. Ven, mira, aquí está el modo verb, el simple form. Mira. Vamos a ver este primero. Vamos a ver aquí. Can you turn the music down? Mira que el verbo siempre va a estar en presente. Mira. Could you close the door, please? Would you please take your garbage out? Mira. ¿Viste que cuáles son los modo verbs aquí, chicos? Will. Ajá. Can. Can, uh -huh. could, can, could, 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 would, very good, very good. Repeat after me, can, could, and would. Can, 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 can could, very can, good. And Mi, would. Eh, very good. Mira, en la segunda, en la segunda question, ves que aquí no uso un phrasal verb, solo uso el verbo close, ¿verdad? ¿Viste? ¿Viste la, viste la segunda pregunta? Mm -hmm. ah, entonces, tiene que ser siempre en presente. ¿Sí? Ahora bien, te recuerdas, las tres preguntas son en presentes. Pero mira, la primera pregunta, turn down. Y, y la última pregunta, take out. ¿Verdad que sí uso phrase over? Pues, aquí. Phrase over. Ajá. Pero, pero, ¿por qué está dividido? ¿Qué es esto acá? The music, your garbage. ¿Qué es, chicos? ¿Por qué es no. que lo pongo en medio? No. Exacto. No, no. No. Entonces, para que vean, chicos, que ustedes pueden hacer requests, ya sea solo con phrasal verbs, o pueden hacer requests en combinación con el modo verb, can, could, would, más un phrasal verb. Miren. Can you turn the music down? Puedes decir eso. O puedes decir, can you turn down the music también, ¿verdad? Depende. Yes, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Muy bien. Ahora bien, chicos, yo, yo creo que esta parte está más que clarín, clarín, clareado, ¿verdad? Very good. Ahora quiero que se fijen en esta, que es la que nos estaba dando como lata y pues Mr. Jorgito estaba ya al borde del colapso. Mire, would you mind? Miren que es diferente a solo would, ¿ok? Would you mind? Mal gerundio. Miren, would you mind turning? Obviamente, ¿verdad? Turning down si estamos hablando con un phrasal verb. Would you mind closing? Miren aquí lo que yo les decía, lo negativo, miren. Después de would you mind, si usted lo quiere poner negativo, pone la partícula not y después pone el ing. ¿Se fijó? ¿O no se fijó? ¿Sí? Any questions? ¿Por qué será que todo el mundo está bien calladito hoy? ¿No han comido? We're thinking. You're thinking. Like, yeah. Dinita, Dinita, ¿tiene alguna pregunta? No, no. Uh -huh. I'm trying to uh, well, understand. Assimilate, assimilate. Yes, assimilate. Okay, assimilate. No es complicado. Solamente tienen que es, uh, follow the, the rules and the instructions. Por ejemplo, si usan would you mind, siempre tiene que ser, después del would you mind, el verbo que ocupe. Tiene que ser en ING. Y si usted lo usa phrase over, would you mind putting your clothes up? Por ejemplo, un ejemplo. ¿verdad? Putting your clothes out. ¿sí? Depende, si usted va a hacer el phrase over, puede hacerlo usando phrase over o simplemente puede no usar el phrase over. Como usted lo quiera hacer. ¿sí? No se me complique la vida. Pero si usted usa would you mind, el verbo que vaya después de would you mind always has to be gerund. Siempre con ING. Siempre. Y si usted lo va a hacer de manera negativa, would you mind? Después va la partícula not y después va a ir el ing. Would you mind not putting? 
would you mind not closing? ¿Sí? ¿Me entiende? ¿Por qué es eso? <ríe> Porque fíjese que cuando alguien le, le, le pide algo, también vamos a, 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 re, bueno, a aprender cómo a dar excusas para no hacer las cosas. Tal como Carlitos lo hizo en su presentación, ¿se recuerdan? ¿Verdad que sí? No, sí, Carlitos creo que fue un niño bien terrible. Entonces, very good. Hasta ahorita, chicos, ¿alguna pregunta? ¿Any question? Any questions? Any doubts? Alguna dudas? Any doubts? No. Dios guarde. Puede no. compartir las imágenes. Oh, por supuesto. El... No, si ya lo vamos a compartir y de hecho okay. les voy a compartir lo que tengo ahorita. Miren, Va. miren que antes de, de hacer el ejercicio quiero que vean wow. aquí. Miren, quiero que vean aquí. Excuses. Miren que, que tengo diferentes maneras to apologize. Apologize es como disculparse. Miren, para dar una excusa, mm. para admitir que, tenés, que, hiciste, que metiste la pata, que hiciste un mistake, para make an offer, para hacer una oferta y para make a promise. Miren, give an excuse. I'm sorry, I didn't realize. Lo siento, pero no me di cuenta. A mistake. I forgot, I left it there. Se me olvidó, lo dejé allí. I'll take it out right now. Lo saco ahorita mismo. I promise I'll, or I'll make sure to. ¿Sí? Miren, estas son algunas excusas. Ahorita se los voy a mandar por WhatsApp. Just for you to have it, ¿ok? Para que lo tengan. A petición del público. Alia Dinita. No se lo vayan a enseñar a sus hijos porque si no les van a aprender a, a dar excusas, oigan. Very good. I'm sending it to you right now. I'm sending it. There you go. I, I got it. You got it? Okay, cool. Yeah. Vaya, chicos, ayúdenme a algo. Uh, if you know, guys, if you realize, si se dan cuenta, I have column A and column B, right? I have six sentences and I have six possible excuses or ways to apologize. Do me a favor first. Can you please be so kind to help me read the questions? Me pueden ayudar a, a, a leer las preguntas, pero oiganlo bien. Quiero escuchar question intonation. Vamos a trabajar un poco la pronunciation ahorita. Así que quiero ver quién me va a ayudar. Ay, qué lindo. Gracias, Dinita. Por favor, ¿me puedes leer la primera pregunta? Solo leerla. Could you learn... Could you lend me twenty dollars? Muy bien, me prestas, me prestas. Lend es prestar. Could you lend me twenty dollars? Me prestas veinte pesos. Mírelo, vea, qué, qué abusivo. Dice, muy bien. Vamos a ver la segunda. Very good. Eh, Jorgito, number two, please. Can you make me a sandwich? Mm, me puedes hacer un sandwich? Ay, qué rico. Very good. Number three, please, Nubi. Can you help me with my homework? Very good. Number four, please, Bree. 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 I'm not sitting here. Very good. Number five, Boris. Boris. Boris, Boris. It's Boris here. No, Boris is not here. What about a Ivy's number five, please? Hey, could you please oh, turn me down the TV? Turn down the TV. Very good. And number six. And let me check who's gonna help me with this. Miguelito. Would you mean speaking more? Would you quickly? mind? Would you mind speaking more quickly? Very good. ¿Te importaría hablar más rápido? Muy bien. Excelente. Muy bien. Ahora, las possible answers. Que, muchas gracias, Miguelito. ¿Me puedes leer la, la literal A? Letter A, please. Sorry. We didn't know we were to salute. Sorry. 
We didn't know we were so loud. Otra vez. Sorry. We didn't know we were so loud. Very good. We didn't know we were so loud. Excellent. Uh, letter B. B as in Bravo. B Duran, please. Sure. Do you want anything to drink? Very good. Sure. Do you want anything to drink? Excellent. Alex, uh, letter C as in Charlie, please. Sorry. I didn't realize the seat was taken. Very good. Lo siento. No me había dado cuenta que el asiento ya estaba tomado o ya tenía dueño, por decir así. Uh, letter D as in David, Dinita. Letter D, right? Yes, letter D. I'm sorry, I can't, I don't have any cash. Very good. Lo siento, no puedo, no tengo cash, no tengo, eh, no es que no tengas plata, sino que no tienes eh, dinero en efectivo. efectivo. Efectivo, very good. Letter E as in echo, let me check who's going to help me with this. Jorgito, letter E. I am really sorry, but I am busy. I'm busy. Very good. I'm busy. Very good. Uh, Linda, letter F as in Frank, please. Sure, no problem. I'd be glad to. Very good. Excellent. Vaya, chiquillos. Si yo, le, si yo le hago, alguien me va a ayudar a leer la pregunta de, de la column A y alguien me va a ayudar a dar la respuesta en el column B. Entonces, um, Dina, could you please be so kind to read for me question number one once again? Léeme la pregunta número uno otra vez. Okay. Could you lend me $20? $20, very good. ¿Cuál sería la respuesta, Jorgito? De la column B. Uh, letter D, I'm sorry, I can, I don't have any cash. Very good. Buena zafada, ¿verdad? Excellent. Very good. Very good. Mm, question number two. Jorgito. I'm sorry, Carlitos, sí. perdón. Car perdón, Carlitos. Ya me agarró, dice, de pato. No, Carlitos, dale. No puede, Carlitos. Can you make me sandwich? Can you make me a sandwich? Ay, qué rico. <coughs> What's the answer, Nubi? Letter E. I'm really sorry, but I'm busy. busy. Very good. I'm busy. Very good. Ni modo, te lo preparas tú, tú solo, chico. No, mentira. Muy bien. Le, number three. B. Can you please read it? Number three, please. B. Durán. O no está B ahorita. Can you repeat, ah, sí. please, teacher? Ah, sí. ¿Me puedes leer la pregunta número tres, please? Yes. Can you help me with my homework? Very good. Brie, can you answer, please? ¿Cuál sería la respuesta, Brie? Sure. No problem. I'd be glad to. Podría ser. Muy bien. Very good. Uh, number four. ¿Quién me la lee? Miguelito, could you please read number four? What do you mean not sitting here? Would you mind? Would you mind not sitting would here? Mind. Mm -hmm. mind. Otra vez. Would you... Very good. Very good. ¿Te importaría no sentarte aquí? ¿Cuál sería la respuesta? Mm, déjame ver quién se va. Nelsie. Mm -hmm. Would you mind um, not sitting here? Um, sorry. I didn't, I didn't realize this seat was taken. Very good. Letter C, right? Excellent, guys. What about number five? Who can help me read the number five? Vamos a ver quién me ayuda. Ivis, do me a favor. Can you please read number five? Could you please turn down the TV? Very good. ¿Cuál sería la respuesta, chiquillos? Alguien. Sorry. We didn't. Hey. Later, a sorry, Later a. You know, we were so, so loud. loud. No, Excellent, we so very good. And the last one, would you mind speaking more quite more quickly? Sure. Do you want anything to drink? 
Ajá. ¿Verdad que no pega? No. no. Entonces, ¿cuál, ¿cuál fue la que no hicimos bien? Number three. Number three, teacher. Are you sure? Yes. Number two. Number two. Miren, can you make me a sandwich? Sandwich. Sure. Do you want anything to drink? And number three, two. Uh huh. Number three, two. ¿Cuál fue la number three? ¿Cuál fue la que no hicimos bien? Number three. Can you help me my homework? I'm sure, no problem. I'd be glad to. Ajá. Ajá. Entonces, ¿cuál sería? It's sweet letter A. Ajá. Eh, two is letter B, right? What, what is number three? It's letter E. E can you help me with my homework? It's letter E, okay. What I about number six? Right? Letter F. Letter F as in Frank. Very good. Ajá. Uh -huh. Entonces, chiquillos, si ustedes se fijan, hoy hemos aprendido que para making a request, there's two ways. ¿Se recuerdan cuál fue la primera que vimos ayer y al principio de la clase de hoy? The phrasal verbs. The phrasal verbs. Muy bien, muy bien, Nelson. Phrasal verbs, exactly. Con nouns lo puedo poner en medio o al final. Phrasal con verbs. pronoun solamente en medio de las dos partes del phrasal verb. Pero ¿cuál fue? El, hay la otra manera de make a request, guys, pero así como más, más polite. Using model verbs. Model verbs. Model verbs. ¿Cuál, ¿Cuáles son los tres model verbs que vimos? Y hay otra manera que no modo ver. ¿Cuál sería la otra? Con would you mind. ¿El verbo va en presente o va en ing? En ing. Presente Ajá, muy bien. Y si yo quiero usarlo de manera negativa, porque es una pregunta, ¿no? O es una request que uno hace. En la partícula not va. Antes del ING, del gerundio o después? Antes. Before. Before the gerundio. Antes, antes del gerundio. Very good, Nubi. Would you mind not putting, right? Would you mind not closing? Very good. Qué bárbaro vos felicito, my friends. Thanks. Excellent job. A pesar de que está durmiendo. ¿Quién está durmiendo? I'm just kidding. Very good, guys. Very good. You see, we almost done this week. We almost finished this week. Only tomorrow we're gonna finish. Can you imagine, guys? Isn't it amazing? No es chévere? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Muy bien, chicos. Los felicito. Y ahorita les voy a mandar una información de de los phrasal verbs que les digo que pueden utilizar cuando van de viaje. Sí. Vamos a ir dándoselos poquito, poquito para que aumenten su vocabulario. El pobre Carlitos se está, se está muriendo del sueño porque tiene hambre. So, okay, guys, time is over. Class is already done. Wow, ya pasó una hora. Qué rápido, right? Yeah, very yeah. good. But I'm so happy to see you all day. I'm so happy. Cada vez que lo veo, me pongo así. Sí. I love to be with you guys. You cannot imagine. Pero ahorita tienen que ir a dormir. So, hugs and kisses. Have a lovely night. Bye-bye. Good, Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.